Hi everybody, my name is Rocksteady Freddy and I'm in the band called D-Rock, the Norwegian Bizarre Oddity. started we, we didn't really regard ourselves as, as musicians we were, we were music fans and every song we wrote was a tribute to a specific artist and, and one of our main inspirations Devo Devo was the main inspiration for the band and they had already taken the, the yellow suit and we didn't know qu quite know what to do and and then uh, first we had just white plain suits that was supposed to look like late 70s performance art kind of stuff I don't know but then a lot of electronic artists started using those white clothes on stage and again it was pretentious, <clears throat> so we had to stop. So what we decided was we wanted to look like a Formula One team. We wanted to look like the, the winning team, just for fun, because we're, our music was so stupid and fun. So we wanted to look like the, the Marlboro team, actually, the red team. And so we ended up wearing red tracksuits. Complete random accident. But we felt it was a good combination of Beastie Boys and Northern England chav culture, which we were also very much inspired by, like, you know, Happy Mondays, Talking Heads, that sort of stuff. Completely random accident, but it worked well, and I don't think we're ever gonna get away from that. <laughs> We finished it yesterday, 7.45 p.m. It's a, it's a new release called Catcher in the Rye, also known as the most extravagant single in history. Now what this is, is a designer toy. So basically it's a vinyl release, which is how we started. So this is like a combination of how we started. It's actually made out of vinyl. But inside of this, you have a four gigabyte USB stick that contains more than 1,700 files. Now that, that's 113 songs, it's uh, 22 music videos, it's a 65 minute concert film and it's 1,500 photos. And inside of that material you'll find a brand new album called Music for Synchronization because Vedrock has been so much synchronized we had to make a tribute to the synchronization world. Don't you care? I don't want to be no Anyways, it's an instrumental, instrumental album. That's a, then it's a brand new uh, compilation album of B-sides and rarities from our previous 12 inches, 10 inches, 7 inches. Then it's a brand new EP called Capture and the Rye, which is a five track EP. And then there is a secret EP called California. So inside of this thing you'll find an EP called California. Now those five songs are from the forthcoming Gator Rock musical. So after doing something like this, what are you going to do? You have to do something very imaginative and stupid. And the best thing we could come up with was write the musical. So five tracks are already done. The musical is happening. <laughs> Data Rock's been around for a long time back home, so it's changed a lot over the, over the not, well, not over the last couple of years, but since we started. Uh, for instance, when we started, there wasn't really, you know, social network sites, blah, 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 it wasn't, uh, like when, when, for instance, when, uh, when MySpace came, that was a revolution. So uh, the way we started was a little, you know, bedroom studio project, releasing vinyls, and now we're uh, 
A full band has been touring in 33 countries, 800 shows, thanks to the internet. I mean, Austin, Texas, and South by Southwest is crazy. Like we, the first show we did uh, at South by this year, the band was playing off to us was uh, a band from Australia, opposite side of the world. Just happens to be a band that toured with us in Australia. They supported us in Australia a couple years ago. And then in the next room, and we didn't we didn't even know they were there. In the next room, another a band from the UK played, and those had supported us on the tour too. So it's like, okay, so you walk out of your hotel, down the street, out of the venue, whatever, and you meet, you meet everybody you, you read in life from across the world. Everybody is there. It's, it's, I don't know, it's insane. It, well, it's just a great place to uh, find um, new music, to uh, meet friends, get new friends, just have a great experience. Hey! Hello kids, my name is Rocksteady Freddy. I'm in a band called Data Rock. Check out our show at babelmusic.com.